Hi, I'm Gavin Watson, Associate Director of eLearning in the Teaching Support Center, and I'm going to be using this Microsoft Mix to show you how to embed learning objects in OWL. So after completing this mix, you'll be able to insert interactive content from across the internet directly into the OWL website that you're working on. You'll want to consider doing this because this will allow for the embedding of multimedia or interactive material in an OWL site that would otherwise be unavailable or only accessible by leaving the LMS. Embed codes are found across the internet on a site like YouTube where we have great resources related to teaching and learning, such as this video on visualizing gravity. Simply have to scroll down, find the share button, and look for the embed tab and you'll find the embed code. This is the key to adding it to your own OWL site. Great, so now that we've introduced you to what embed codes are and why you might want to use them, let's go through the steps that we need to do in order to add them to an OWL site. So the first step is to find the embed code. And depending on what site you visit, you have to do a little bit of searching. So on YouTube, for example, you're looking for something along the lines of share or embed, and you can see right here that uh, there's a share tab. We see a URL, but what we're really interested in is embed, and there we find a code that we will use. If we go to another um, service like SoundCloud, we're looking for some button that's called share or embed, and here it's called share. We click on that, and there we see our embed. And there we see our code uh, in play right there. We go to another site like Prezi. We're looking for share or embed. We've got two buttons. We're interested in embed, so we'll select embed. And there we go. We have the information that we need. The next step is really a simple one, and that's copy the code. Often when you select embed, the text will get selected for you. We see it's highlighted here. And so the way that you copy it is you can right click with a mouse and select copy, or if you're a fan of shortcuts, uh, control C for copy. And then now you'll have it on your um, clipboard and you'll be able to paste this code somewhere else. That somewhere else, of course, for our case is our OWL website. And so you can see that I'm using the lessons tool here in OWL and uh, I'm uh, in my access view or instructor view and I've got a number of different materials here. What I want to do and what the next step is, is selecting to add content. And you'll see if you select this drop down list, your second choice will be embed content on a page. And this is what you want to do. You want to embed content on an OWL page. But there's a hitch, of course, because nothing could ever be simple. And that hitch is once you select embed content on a page, what you're going to be presented with is a dialog box. And now that you've got your copied uh, embed code, you're going to paste it in there. And what you're going to see is a whole bunch of text, start, usually starting with something like iframe and a width and a height. What we're interested in, if, if we just uh, hit save, the material wouldn't be embedded. What we're most interested in is the part of the code that begins with HTTP or HTTPS. And what we want is to share the URL, everything else. The URL is the HTTP uh, or the internet address. Everything else is superfluous and we want to delete that. So what I've got left here is uh, the URL uh, from the original embed code. And now I can click save. And as I scroll down, my video has been embedded. Success. So to reiterate, to embed an OWL, we just need the URL. And that URL is inside the embed code that we've copied, but there's a lot of extra information. And so we just need to delete that information. Because we're interested in the URL, that means that we're interested in the 
part of the embed code that starts with HTTP or HTTPS. I've underlined it here. And we only want to keep the text in between the quotation marks. It might be easy to copy these quotation marks. We don't actually want them. And so copy the text, paste it in the box, and you'll be off to the races. So there are five easy steps to embed material in OWL. The very first thing that you need to do is find an embed code for material that you want to share. Once you've found that code, you're going to copy it, pressing Control C or right-clicking on your mouse and selecting Copy. You're then going to navigate to your OWL site, and in your Lessons page, you're going to add content and embed content on that page. Once the dialog box appears, you're going to paste the embed code that you originally copied, but making sure to only paste the URL, getting rid of all the rest of the superfluous material. And then finally, you're going to select Save. And with that, you'll have embedded material ready to go and share with your students. Now, five easy, five easy steps. The biggest piece of information that uh, you've got to know is what a URL is. And so before you go, that's a little bit of information that we're going to test you before you can leave.